Israeli President Reuven Rivlin said because of all the recent terror attacks, Israel might be on the verge of a third intifada. Julie Stahl asked people here on the streets how they felt about the current situation. It's very sad right now. I actually have um, had a lot of interactions with um, Israelis, with Palestinians, and it's really sad. All those Arab uh, Islam fanatics are now uh, coming against Israel with the religious war. Do you think we're on the verge of a third intifada? I don't know. It's hard to know. Uh, I have the feeling it will not be intifada in the same scale as it was uh, last time. Uh, I think that uh, somehow it will calm down. It could be, but it could drag on a little. I'm obviously concerned for our situation. I'm concerned with growing anti-Semitism in the world, especially in the media when they are reporting that Palestinians got shot in a, a synagogue as opposed to calling a spade a spade, which is a, a terrorist attack on uh, innocent Jews. I'm not really afraid. It's an unpleasant situation. Uh, I have been living in Jerusalem for 30 years and it's always up and down, up and down. I'm not afraid, that's my town. Anybody wants to come to front to me, uh, no problem. The other day I was walking with my children and I saw somebody being searched at a bus, at a, a tram stop and that made, you know, that was very scary. Whenever we hear ambulances running by or helicopters above, it's upsetting. No, of course I'm not afraid because who brought us here? We know that the Lord brought us here, back again to the land. Of course we are not afraid. Most people are not afraid. Do you think the Israeli government's doing enough? No. Um, I think they could be doing a lot more uh, to protect the, the civilians. But uh, the government should uh, supply more uh, security to the people. Do you think that this is a war between Islam and Judaism or Islam and Christianity? Yeah, I think it's part of it. It's part of it. And uh, because there are the connections between, you know, the religions extremists here in, in uh, Israel and the Palestinian Authority and also in the Arab, Arab countries. President Obama is paying attention. Um, he just has everything wrong. And I, I think that's one aspect that a, a lot of Israelis understand, is that he is a president who is not our friend. We can't trust him. And um, I think the American government is having problems both here in Israel and uh, in the Middle East with ISIS uh, as a result of this.